Okay. There we go. Hi. Hi. I'm Nick. I'm Jill. And we're, we're hip, hip strings. strings. So welcome to day two of the uh, base 12 spin along. Yep. Um, so uh, for those of you that uh, didn't join us uh, yesterday, uh, I am spinning randomly. Jill is following the sequence of days. So we're on day number two, which actually happens to be the day that I was spinning yesterday. Yep. Um, so I'm spinning what will be a barber pole to ply yarn. So I'm on a fresh bobbin today. Um, so what I'm spinning today will be what's plied with what was spun yesterday. And I'm just going straight through because I'm lazy ply. and, and I'm going to chain ply in the end. Um, so that's going to uh, uh, end up nicely. But I got to pick my uh, yeah. fiber today. So I'm going to roll the die. And I remember last time we didn't tell people uh, what I got. I just went and did it. Um, so I'm not going to tell you what number I got. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to do it. Um, so that way you guys don't know what, uh, what, what it is. Oh, although I will say it if it's one that we've already done. Uh, this is not one <laughs> we've already done. Nick gets another bat. I get another bat? Yep. Eek, eek. Um, so, uh, you didn't have your, um, your little, uh, uh, info card, uh, for yesterday. Oh yeah, I was so, going to grab a control card. You have one right over well, there. Yeah, no, not the control card, but what? the, um... Oh, the fiber key. The I fiber still key. didn't grab one. No, you didn't grab that either. Uh, so can you talk a little bit about the fiber that I spun yesterday and the one that you're spinning today? So, the one that we're spinning today, um, <laughs> in the fiber key, it's listed as rumor, but it's actually, uh, based on the yarn, the business. It's been 2020, folks. Um, it's a hand carded bat. Um, it is, there's merino, there's domestic wool in there. There is four different types of textured silk. So there's mulberry silk lap, there's mulberry silk, there's tussin oil, and there's a uh, waste from making um, silk mawata. So silk and water are made from stretching silk cocoons over a frame. And so this is like what's left over from the, the cocoons. So lots of texture. Oh yeah. I <laughs> really like the oil. I'm warning people, you know, the bats might end up being a little bit thicker um, <laughs> than some of the signature blends or the hand dyed fiber. But so. it'll, it'll definitely end up with an interesting final yarn yes. for sure. Um, I, I personally, we were actually just having a conversation about the fact that I really like how the noil ends up sort of popping. Um, both, you know, as you're spinning, it's this nice little surprise of, of something cute and also as a uh, uh, something uh, in your, your final yarn. Um, it's basically like tweed. Yeah. Uh, as it pops out in the end. So I went and I took a, uh, a Hipstrings Precise Control card and looked at my single from yesterday. Um, and I spun yesterday at about 14 wraps per inch, which is my default. Uh, so that's what I'm kind of spinning on these yarns at, because I kind of have that thickness ingrained in my brain, what it looks like. Maybe I should, uh, at least look at what I'm doing now, even though I didn't look at what it was yesterday. <laughs> Can you hand me that control card? Yeah. All right. So I am looking at somewhere like... Maybe around 20 wraps per inch, which I think is basically my default as well. Yeah. So make um, this more likely. I'm splitting my bat lengthwise to, so that it's about the thickness of This is awesome. Top. I'm totally going to beat you today. Because <laughs> <laughs> you've got, you've going. Yeah, because I've been going for a while. I, I tricked you with uh, needing to talk about it. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, now that we're actually spinning, maybe we should, uh, we were, it was brought to our attention that uh, some of the packages may have had the t base 12 numbering incorrectly done. Yes, yeah, so they're hung properly, but they're done 10AB. They're labeled 10AB. What do you mean by they're hung properly? They are hung in the order. So, they're, so the 10AB... The 10 should actually be A. The A should okay. actually be B, and the B should actually be labeled 10. Yeah, or 1-0. Zero. Or 1-0. Zero. I like calling it 1-0 to not be confusing. Yeah, that so, is better. Again, as a reminder to everybody, 
But that's uh, not because all of them because I checked mine and mine's done properly. Okay. So what you should do is you need to look at your garland and how it's hung. <laughs> yeah. And know that the order is correct, but the stickers may be wrong. So we apologize for that. And remember, if you're uh, rolling your die, that if you roll a 10 on the die, on the die, you're going to be spinning bag A. If you roll an 11, 11 you're going to be spinning sp bag B. And if you roll a 12, you'll be spinning bag 10. Or one zero. Or one zero. Yeah. You got to convert bases here. We're, we're uh, really trying to make you think. Um, it, this is not uh, not just an easy spin along. All right. So we've got a couple of people who joined us. So thanks for joining us. We've got a Kinspa. Good evening. As well as Dave and Meredith. Uh, Red also says hi. Uh, Dave has mentioned that uh, he's going to do the same method for the spin along as I am. Um, he finished spinning fiber A. Today he's going for fiber four. All right, so we got a lot of uh, a lot of good randomization going on. And then Red has says you are challenging her so much today. Purple <laughs> and bumpy. <laughs> Just little bits of purple. Yeah, not like me. Yeah, there will on, be more purple later on. Way purple. Yeah. Well, so the the entire <laughs> this I, I'm I'm actually kind of curious if. Um, how readily uh, people can tell how far along in the number I got because you said you did a gradient, right? So yeah. it's obviously starting very light yeah, and going very dark. Oh, God, you're sitting on my supply. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, so, I mean, you can sort of gauge how, long, how far along. Oh, I'm good. I am. Um, yeah, you are? So what I'm wearing tonight, I did this for you guys specially. And I'm even going to give Nick more of a chance to to beat me tonight. So what I'm wearing tonight is the North Cut Shawl, which is the design that Sam made for the yarn for base 12. It doesn't help me get in advance if you block what I'm doing. It's a good thing Ooh. I can spin without looking. So yeah, so we started like here. And we'll end up over here. So it's not one-to-one. So, one. It's in, The fiber is inspired by the yarn. Or is the yarn inspired by the fiber? No, I started with the yarn. You started with the yarn? Okay. Yeah. So the fiber blends and colors back on. are inspired by the dyeing of the yarn. But that gives you a good idea of the full gradient. Yes. Because last year we did it based on a picture, so people kind of had an idea of what the color was. What was the picture last year? It was some abstract triangles thing. Ah. Me and my modern art. Yeah. Well, cool. Uh, let's see. Dave says he's extra confused about the order. Uh, I know <laughs> there were supposed to be 9AB10, but ours were hung 910AB. Yeah. So... Uh, the labels are wrong. If you, if the you fiber just want right. to, if you just want to take a sharpie and scratch out that one zero A B and make it A B one zero, um, the fiber is right, but the labels were wrong. So again, we apologize to uh, everyone who had that mistake. Um, as you can see, it's it's even challenging for the hipstrings crew to maintain yeah. the proper base twelve conversion. But and <laughs> it's twenty twenty, so me and my assistant who packed everything up weren't working in the studio at the same time. Um, so. So what's 2020 in base 12? <laughs> oh, gosh. We should get Google to do the conversion Make for us. Make my brain hurt. Yeah. So, uh, speaking of 2020, uh, <laughs> I had to... Do we have to? No, this will be enjoyable. Don't worry. Okay. Um, I, at least I hope it will be. Um... You know, we, everybody's doing video chats, and, and I'm certainly having to do a lot of video chats for work. Um, but you guys have a special honor that my, uh, my video chats for work don't have, because you get to see my legs. So I actually had to pick pants out that, you know, would look nice, rather than, you know, wearing my, uh, my PJ pants or whatever, um, or my kilt. And um, I'm all self-conscious about my knees showing. I do have work meetings in my kilt sometimes, and nobody even knows. <laughs> um, well, now they do, since you told the entire internet. 
Yeah, the, the whole 236 subscribers that we've got, oh, plus I'll, some. You don't have to be a subscriber to see the video. This is true. This is true. But I will be very impressed if somebody <laughs> asks me during a work meeting uh, whether or not I'm wearing my kilt. Then I'll know where they learned it from. Yeah. There's people at work that know about hip strings. Yeah. All right. So Dave That's says he spun the wrong fiber. Since he did random and started by rolling a one zero. Well, we just... I started by rolling a 10. So I spun the bag labeled A, which was actually fiber B. Well, good thing <laughs> it was random. Good thing it's random. Yep. But... Um, safeties in all of this. You know, just pretend you're playing D&D &D and that was some sort of Thacko or something. <laughs> there are modifiers. Yeah, yeah. That's your, your armor class uh, modifier. Here's the 2020 modifier. Yep. Uh, let's see. And Red says that she totally wears crazy pants to work meetings. I'm, I'm almost at the point where if it wasn't for the fact that I work in a, in a lab space and can't uh, show my knees, uh, that I might wear my kilt at some point in time, but... Uh, people get in problem in trouble with wearing shorts, even so. Yeah, you'd have to get a full length kilt. Is that Maxi a thing? Kilt? No, that is not a thing. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, if that was a thing, then my kilt collection is not not complete. complete. <laughs> Maybe it needs to be a thing now. There are mini skirt versions of the kilt. Yes, that is not one that <laughs> I think people would appreciate me wearing. Some but. might. <laughs> uh. Fiber festivals are family affairs. That is true. On to a different topic. <laughs> um, oh crap, there was another thing I was going to talk about. I completely forgot what it was. You completely distract me with the mini kilt. Maybe you should get a mini kilt. Oh no, nobody needs to see that either. <sighs> Alright, so I, I do have a question for the audience. Um... Uh, is our is our audio any better today? Uh, we we've messed around a little bit with a couple of settings uh, and plugging things in different ports, so I think it's better now. Um, but you'll have to let us know. Uh, Red did say that she may have taken a non-video call with uh, one of those uh, famous space companies in her <laughs> fuzzy robe. Yeah, non-video calls are the best. Uh, I have often rolled out of bed uh, and immediately taken a call and, you know, not even done anything with my looks, uh, still wearing my PJs and whatnot. I actually have taken some... Oh my gosh! I what? see what you mean about the silk. Yeah, well, I wasn't going to say anything, but... <laughs> um, I have taken video calls where I just needed to pay attention and I've done a workout, uh, while uh, while on the call. And since it wasn't video, it was fine. Um, thanks for letting me know that the audio is better, Dave. Um, so I will say, uh, this one is much better in terms of having, it doesn't have the the, the bunches of, of silk. That... Which is funny because that has mulberry silk in it too. It doesn't have as much mulberry silk as this one. Mm. So maybe it's there just a percentage thing like flax. Yeah. Well, but the problem is it was, um, so what, what Jill and I are talking about is something we talked about right before the call was, um, for day number two, uh, you may experience that there are some chunks of, uh, The mulberry silk, silk just likes to spin by itself and not have any friends. Yeah. And, uh, it didn't, it only happened to me twice while I was spinning it, so it wasn't too much of a, of a disruption, but, um, it was a little bit of a, look at me, I'm mulberry silk! Yeah. Um... So I'm not seeing that happen quite so much with the day that I'm spinning, even though it has mulberry silk as well. But not as much. Right. Sometimes percentages are everything. Sometimes. I would say all the time. Yeah. Uh, so... Uh, 
Yeah, Dave says he hasn't done a workout during a call, but he has done knitting during a call. Yeah, I would say that the socks that I most recently knit for Jill were probably at least 50% knit during uh, calls. Um, I could do the leg and the foot. If I've got to do a heel turn, i got to pay attention, so I can't do that during a call. But um, I've done the, uh, after the heel turn or before the heel turn, I'll do it on a, uh, during work calls. Um, and quite honestly, like, it's one of those things kind of like a fidget spinner, right? I, I actually tend to pay attention more when my hands are doing something. So uh, it's a, a lot better for me to, to have some knitting. Um, you actually had a professor uh, in grad school that, I have, yeah. that would knit constantly one of during my, meetings. Um, one of my committee members knit during meetings. Yeah. So, oops, crap, that's not good. Uh, so it's not necessarily a, a, a bad thing. Um, so, uh, she was also tenured. Red notes, by the way, also the, it depends on how well they're blended in the bat. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, all these bats though, you know, they're hand, hand blended, um, and, carded uh, twice. carded twice. Are, are they all just carded twice? They're all carded twice. Yeah. So they should have equivalent amounts of blending depending on well, how much is in there, right? Well, it's how it goes on the drum. Sometimes yeah. it behaves and sometimes it doesn't want to behave. And Dave also has a very uh, astute observation that percentages are only are everything only if they're 100 percent. No. Never anything 100 percent. No, no, no. You don't get no. it. They're only everything oh. if they're 100 <laughs> percent. <laughs> Okay, Mary uh, Dolores says, I wish I could join you guys, but it's time for dinner. Uh, homemade turkey vegetable soup Ooh, and homemade brown bread. Have fun. See you on the replay. Well, we will see you on the replay, or maybe you'll see you'll us on the see replay. On us. <laughs> um, but uh, definitely enjoy your dinner. That sounds amazing. Uh, we had lamb meatballs. Uh, what was that thing that you showed me? Uh, you were telling me about relating I to lots of things. Yeah, no. Um, so there was there was something, some article that you shared with me about how um, lamb. Oh yes. Uh, lamb cheese and wine. Yeah. Will keep you from going senile. It it helps with uh, maintaining brain function into age. So yeah. it's like no wonder. Not other red meats, but lamb. Yeah. So. Uh, you heard it here. Uh, drink your wine, eat your cheese, and uh, do everything you can with your sheep, including eat it. Yeah. Because <laughs> knitting and other fiber arts also prevent. Yeah. We're all living the best life, right? Yeah. All right, that was a, a bit of a left turn there. What, optimism? No. <laughs> That's a left turn for 2020. Optimism. Let's see. Uh, Cornwall Crafter says, Morning, couldn't sleep, so thought I'd join you. It's 2.17 a.m. <laughs> here in the UK. Uh, wow. Well, hopefully we can put you to sleep. Wait a minute. That's <laughs> not the goal here. But I guess in your case, yes, it's the goal. Uh, thanks for joining us. I'm glad you could you thought of us. Um, maybe the the rhythmic humming of the wheels will uh, put you to sleep. Should I should I sing a lullaby or something? <laughs> if you want, I'm about to get to my second half of my fiber. So yeah. are you half done? Uh, I think so. I don't know. You tell me. Yeah. Yeah. Grumbly. Grumbly. Grumbly about that. Yeah, um, I'm gonna be grumbly about that. Let's see. Red says, um, I should probably change a hook. <laughs> yes, re how you put into onto the drum. Oh yeah. Yes. It's, uh, I'm like the queen of smooth bats and can get up to 40 to 50%. It just takes more work. Um, and also noting that Eve is a, uh, crazy woman. I wouldn't call that crazy. No. Suffering from insomnia. It's not crazy. No. I, uh, <laughs> I was, um, What's interesting? I think I started spinning from the other side of the bat. Yeah? And it's By accident? not as smooth. Okay. Yeah, that's how we do it. So why don't you talk about your uh, your bats and your bat production? 
So I have a Clemens and Clemens uh, motorized drum carter, um, which I really like the bats it produces. Um, all of my cards, or almost all of bats I produce, I card through twice. Um, usually, wool goes through the liquor in and silks get painted onto the drum. Um, So, uh, what's interesting is in the past couple of months, you've started making reproducible bats, right? Yeah. Well, I've done that since last base 12. Oh, yeah? Okay. But, so last year's base 12s, the bats have been available for me to order. Um, I'm going to, I, there's a limited supply of those left. Um, I'm running out of components. <laughs> and some of them can't get, I can't restock so I've put up what I have left but I will be putting up the two ounce portions of the base 12 2020 bats um, on the 25th uh, and if you did participate and you bought the spin along fibers and you want kind of a custom order of extras of anything um, I think I'm going to do kind of a, a window from the 25th till the end of the year. If you want non-standard amounts of any of the fibers, um, as a pre-order and then everything else is, um, you know, available in its usual amounts on the website, except the hand-dyed fibers. Um, but those, you know, you can always email me and I'll do a custom um, die job for those. They're just not standards, and they're they're all um, they're all semi solids, which I usually don't sell uh, dyed fiber and semi solids just because I don't know. It's not as exciting as getting a nicely hand dyed multicolor uh, braid. You do stuff, you, you take the uh, the Steve Jobs approach to product design, right? Yeah. I do something that makes me excited, not not what the, Not what I think what people want. What unless the market people, says that, right? Unless people very explicitly tell me what they want. Well, and it, it works well, right? Because um, well, if, if you guys don't buy the stuff at some point, I have to spin it. <laughs> All right, we got a couple of other comments here. Um, Dave suggests we talk about our theses, um, either one of us, in, oh uh, if we want to put uh, put people to sleep. Um, I, I personally think my thesis was exciting, but mine too. Um, yeah. So uh, thank goodness uh, Cornwall Crafter does not have to work tomorrow. That is good. Uh, Meredith apparently hates tweeds, so. Um, do you have another way to, uh, to think about these nice, uh, 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 pops of, of color so that, um, we can, we can reframe it for Meredith so she doesn't... Just let go. <laughs> okay, let it go. Try to pretend like it's other fiber and don't try to micromanage it. Just let it be. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. It'll, it'll, uh... You'll be so happy with the finished yarn. Have faith. Uh, let's see. Cornwall Crafter asks, do you ever use Angora? Would you paint it directly onto the drum or feed it through the liquor in? I have never used Angora in bats. I have used it in, I have used bunny fur. <laughs> I was gonna say, you, you, you have actually used bunny fur. It hasn't yes, been Angora. It's been one of our pet rabbits who was a Jersey Woolsey mm -hmm. and had longer for like an Angora. Um, and that I did a wool, um, wool and, uh, and rabbit blend. And for that, I sandwiched, I made thin layers, a thin layer of wool, then put the rabbit on top of that and then put 
another thin layer of wool on top of that and then fed that through the liquor in. So that was a, a fiber sandwich in order to get the angora on. Nom nom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, kind of the same process if you want to use something like um, yak or camel. Uh, you usually have to introduce it at the same time as another uh, fiber so that it doesn't just stick to the liquor in. So Colonel Crafter also notes that she's disappointed not to see the T-Rex suit make an appearance. It's only day two, come on. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's plenty of opportunity for, uh, for the T-Rex to make an appearance. We've got to give you guys reasons for coming back. Yeah, yeah. Um, Red says, uh, no doubt, uh, presumably about the uh, not having to work tomorrow. For Eve. Um, uh, though she's worked after an insomnia night, it is not fun. I can imagine. Um, there are nights where I don't get quite as much sleep as I want to, and I'm just happy to make it through the day. Um, so Red has changed uh, her spinning plan to mini skeins. <laughs> uh, so we'll need half an ounce of number one, please. <laughs> So you'll have plenty of supplies to uh, to make that available. Yeah. On the twenty fifth, you said, right? I yeah, I think almost all of the signature blends, almost all of them are blends mm -hmm. that are new this year. I think. Yep. Good way yeah. to advertise them. Um, and uh, speaking of making sure that people come and uh, watch, you know, come back and, and continue to watch us. Gosh, <laughs> Um, we do have uh, many things to announce on the days that we're, you know, in the future. We're not... Uh... Oh, yeah, talking about announcements. Uh, if you guys want any hopeful chance of maybe getting a package from me by December 25th, um, tomorrow's the deadline for ordering. Um, USPS is being a little bit difficult. Um, <laughs> not with us, just not in general. Not with us. Uh, stuff is still generally taking... The usual amount of time for us, maybe just a day or two later. Um, but uh, tomorrow's the deadline if you want stuff by December 25th. I am actually going to take a shipping break. <gasps> um, Sorry, from the 21st was that too much? <laughs> to the 28th. So I'm not going, I will be accepting orders, but I won't be shipping anything out that week. Um, I would like to enjoy Christmas <laughs> and not be worried about all of the like family related stuff as well as work stuff. What do you mean worried about family related stuff? We get to stay at packages. home and not have to worry about Yes, but there are packages presents to, send. to wrap yeah. and packages to send out and cookies to make and you know General lazing about? Well, I've got my... Yes, general lazing about is definitely something to worry about. Um, I've got my gingerbread baked and uh, getting stale. Uh, hopefully it'll be stale enough tomorrow to... Uh... Are you kidding me? How did you catch up? I win. How? <laughs> oh, and I was faster than yesterday. Oh my god. Ha. Here I was going leisurely and... You were spinning thinner, breaks, too. And I was spinning thinner. Uh, this goes to show you were superior in every way. <laughs> right, but I can't do the T-Rex spinning stuff. What that means is now you need to entertain them with your witty banter while I concentrate on this. Oh, gosh. You want to show off the... Yeah, I'll show things off. The shawl again. Make sure I'm showing off the right side. And I put it up, um, since Ravelry is not necessarily a friendly place for everybody, for various reasons, um, I put the pattern up for sale on both my website and my Etsy shop. Um, so if Ravelry isn't an option for you, there are other ways to get the pattern for this. So it is 12 modular pieces you can either knit them separately and mattress stitch them 
uh, together or you can join as you go. So I have a weird question. Would you expect that by spinning you would have enough yardage no. to make that? No. Okay. Um, because this is, these are about, they're a hundred yards each, which makes them, I think a little bit more than 20 grams a piece. And there's 12 of them. Now you're making people convert from ounces to grams. Yes, I know. I'm evil. It's about 1200 yards. Um, or it is 1200 yards fingering weight, which is about... 10 ounces of fiber. Okay. Um, so if you had two base 12s um, fibers, you could do it. But otherwise, you would need to supplement or you could make it a shorter um, cape. There you go. So you would, you would reduce the, the... The number of repeats. Number of repeats in the row. Yeah. All right. Well... Uh, let's see, you said it was, uh, even faster, so we've had about half hour. Um, yeah, we're six minutes, yeah, six minutes shorter than yesterday. All right, well, we still have some questions. So Red is yeah. asking, can you talk about, um, Blue Willow plied with the CVM? Oh, so one person who's spinning up, she actually cheated and opened everything up, um, because she's spinning for a pattern that is designed for the traditional yarn advent calendars, which are 24 ska mini skeins that are usually about 88 yards a piece. Mm -hmm. um, so thus half an ounce of fiber is not enough. And 12 days is not enough. You need 24 different colors. So she's supplementing from her hip string stash, but she's uh, for, she pulled everything out and then found things to ply with. Um, so she is, she, one of the singles is uh, some CBM that she applied with day one, which was the Magnesite. And I, she's got other various plans for the other days. Yeah. I'm just looking we're at. We're not that different. No, we're average. not. I'm actually really surprised. Why don't uh, you measure? You can actually tell. Objectively. Objective. All right, so I ended up getting, I think, quite a bit thicker in the end. Um, eh, Where are you at? Maybe 16 reps per inch. And you're finer than me. No, you're, no, you're not measuring right. <laughs> you're at about... 12. Hey. Yeah, you're like 11, 12. I'm at right. 14. Okay. Still not too far off. No, not that far off. I'm thicker than I was uh, with yesterday's. Yeah? Yeah. You're going to have like a worsted weight three ply. Yeah. That's okay. It'll be easier to knit up. It will. <laughs> All right. Um, well, thanks again for joining us, everyone. Um, yeah. This is a nice, uh, nice snippet. You won't get sick of us if it's only thirty minutes at a time. <laughs> so um, the 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 bad thing about this is that as we keep going, we keep getting better and better. And so, like, we're just going to do it in ten minutes on the last day. No, and I'm just like, See always ya. awesome. So yes, you are always awesome. All right. Okay. Thank you guys. Thanks for joining us. We'll see, see you again, again tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.